What's Up in Paris for September. This monthly magazine is here to show you all the best things to see, hear, do and experience in Paris. So stick with us and let What's Up in Paris show you what not to miss this September 2017. It's back to school or work for 2017 and Paris is jam-packed with all sorts of activities that will suit Parisians and visitors alike. Now is the time to take full advantage of the last few sunny days of summer in the Bois de Boulogne with La Fête à Nounou. From the 1st of September to the 8th of October, the park will be full of rides, shows, concerts and fireworks. Don't forget, the Fête à Nounou will also be host to the next generation Moonraker ride, body the most beautiful carousel in Europe that used to train astronauts. And for the little ones, there will be mini roller coasters, flying chairs, a big wheel and all the candy floats they want. For more information, check out the event's Facebook page. Looking for something a little more exotic, from the 5th to the 10th of September, the 16th edition of the Lavage de la Madeleine Festival will bring the heat of Brazilian culture to the streets of Paris. With music, dance and local traditions on show, several thousand visitors are expected to join the Brazilian celebrities this September. Down by la. See the full program at www.lavagedelamadeleine.com If you're looking for an exhibition, head to the Jewish Art and History Museum. They are organizing the first ever retrospective dedicated to the scriptwriter and author René Goscinny, the co-creator of Asterix, Petit Nicolas and Lucky Luke, 40 years after his death. From the 27th of September onwards, you can come and see 220 works including many original drawing boards, paintings and exceptional documents from the Goscinny family archives. For more information, www.maj.org. For something a little further off the beaten track, the Sempre di Pera Maria Callas in Nascala exhibition will win over both longtime fans of the famous singer and complete nail fights. From the 14th of September to the 4th of October, marking 40 years since she passed away, the Italian Cultural Institute in Paris is offering visitors a dive into the world of La Callas, in particular the work she did with La Scala in Milan. The exhibition will bring together private archives, stage costumes and photographs of the artist with the golden voice. Don't forget, a concert in homage of the legendary diva will be held at the Théâtre des Champs-Élysées on the 12th of September. The singer Jessica Pratt will be singing Lucia di la Mermor by Gaetano Donizetti, Maria Callas' favorite work. Book your ticket online www.théâtrechamps-Élysées.fr Another diva will be on center stage at the Olympia. Piaf, le spectacle, will immerse you in La Vie en Rose on the 19th of September 2017 at 8.30 p.m. Anne Carrère will take to the stage to interpret the legendary singer who left us more than 50 years ago. Reservations www.olympiahall.com Opera lovers will have their moment too. As part of the open air opera festival, the Mariage of Figaro will be played in the Cour d'honneur of the Invalides from the 7th to the 9th of September 2017. The actor and producer Julie Gaillet, accompanied by Ken Nijelin, will be staging Mozart's Opera Bouffe inspired by Beaumarchais's comedy of the same name. This is going to be a hell of a show, so we recommend you to get there early. Reservations www.operaenplanair.com if you're more into literature than song, you should know that you'll be able to hear readings from the Nobel Prize for Literature at the Théâtre de l'Homme this month. On Sunday, the 24th of September, the actor Xavier Gallet will be reading excerpts from the works of Gao Jingyang, the Nobel laureate of 2000. Don't miss out! The European Heritage Days are back on the 16th and 17th of September 2017 and this year Collège des Bernardins will be hosting a giant Playmobil exhibition from the Manufacture Fantastique with a theme of historical monuments and French cultural heritage. An enormous installation will reproduce the Latin Quarter as it was in the 13th century complete with the long destroyed Bernardin's church. This promises to be an astonishing full perspective 3D reconstitution of the local landmark, free entry. The Galerie Lafayette will be opening their doors too this weekend. They are offering a visit that blends history, architecture and anecdotes from the creation of the store in 1894 to the present day. So what's the theme this year? Youth and heritage. 
this fun interactive visit will give you the chance to step into the world of the great Parisian department stores, revealing secrets from the ground floor right up to the rooftop panorama. Visits are available in French and in English and will last 45 minutes. Reservations patrimoine at galerielafayette.com And of course, we know that the way to your heart is through your stomach, so get down to the Paris Food Festival. Come to the Port du Gros Caillou and discover food from 40 different countries. With tasting, restaurant stands, local produce, cooking classes, concerts and shows, you'll be able to get your fear from the 22nd to the 24th of September. And don't forget, Eric Kaiser himself will be heating up the International Food Village. Have a great month of September everyone! See you on the 1st of October!